Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. A student at UMass Amherst is now demanding the school allow more students to live on campus next semester. With more than a thousand signatures, that student who started the petition argues it's safer living on campus where regular COVID-19 testing is currently required. UMass officials say they'll make a decision on how the spring semester will proceed no later than October 24th. The federal holiday today, Columbus Day, commemorates the arrival of Christopher Columbus to the Americas in 1492. However, many think it's a time to change the holiday to Indigenous Peoples Day. In New England, Maine and Vermont celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day instead of Columbus Day. Here in Massachusetts, some towns like Amherst, Northampton and a few others have also adopted that holiday. And the confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett kicked off this morning. Senate Republicans are trying to push through her nomination before the election, which would give the high court a 6-3 to three conservative majority. Democrats argue Judge Barrett would help strike down Obamacare. This all comes as we are only 22 days away from the upcoming presidential election. My first warning, meteorologist Don Maher. Lots of clouds out there tonight. We're going to see some additional rainfall moving in after midnight. In fact, tomorrow is looking like a wet, a cool day. Rain will be heavy at times. Can't even, can't even rule out a rumble of thunder, but it is rainfall that we desperately need around here. That comes to an end by tomorrow night. And then Wednesday, we get some sunshine back in here. A bit on the breezy side, but overall Wednesday looks like a nice day around here. But tomorrow, temperatures only in the mid to upper 50s with that rain. And then a couple of really nice days coming our way, especially on Thursday. Thursday is going to be a bit on the breezy side, but temperatures Thursday afternoon, well, they could climb into the lower 70s, a good 10 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. But then we're going to be watching our next storm system approach, and that could bring some additional rainfall around here as we head on into Friday. In fact, Friday looking like another wet day with rain likely heavy at times. Rain could continue until Friday night before entering during the first half of the day on Saturday. We'll dry things out by Saturday afternoon. Sunday, Monday, both look dry and cool. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.